wanted me to, uh, shall we say, fix a sink. The cloak, was it? <laughs> well, after I got to work, it certainly was. <laughs> <laughs> Look, allow me to spell it out for you, mate. The apartment in which she needed assistance was the bedroom. She's got a sink in her bedroom? <laughs> what a great idea. I could do with one of those. I ain't trekking all the way to the kitchen sink in the middle of the night, but I want to spend a penny. But it sounds like what you're saying to me, Carl, is that a woman paid you who had sex with her. Well, if you want to be vulgar about it, Carl, you're right. But then, doesn't that make you a... You're supposed to interrupt me, you can. <laughs> but then, doesn't that make you... Don't <laughs> <you're laughs> no, play with me. You don't have time to play some silly guessing game. Of course you get a clue! What guys me? <clears throat> All I can do. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so she didn't come running back to you with open legs. Never mind. At least you got her mum's attention. One word. Leverage. Right. So your solution is for me to make Lynn jealous by copping off with our elderly mum. I'm merely saying that when you have to close a deal, sometimes you have to be prepared to up the ante. Oh, does she have an ante? <laughs> There's a gun on the table behind you. Decide which of you will wear the blindfold, and the others will direct them on assembling the gun. See, that, that is not normal. No, shut up, we're playing being timed. Right, I'll wear the blindfold. No, I'm gonna wear it. I, I, I am the president of the of the criminology club, and I have him read many gunmen. Yeah, but I'll give her held one. <laughs> well, no, but... No, I... well, let me wear the blindfold. What, what experience do you have putting guns together? And what experience do you have away from blindfolds? Do you really want to go there? Oh, you would be dear. <laughs> Oh, oh, what the hell? Put that down. It's fine, relax. My daddy taught me about guns, God, and gone hariha. <laughs> ah, the storm cut the power. Everyone has gone home for the weekend. I'm afraid we're stuck here until 7 a.m. on Monday. Well, I can't even stay in my house for that long, and I've got Netflix. <laughs> Peek, up there, there's a camera. Oh, uh, yeah. Fucking wankers! <laughs> Help! Hey, we're, we're stuck in the lift! Hello! Help! Oh, Scott, what are you doing? Oh, God. It's probably our lip reading system. <laughs> the heck you don't live in your lip chain? <laughs> <laughs> are there any superheroes in Brazil who can help us? <laughs> well, the good news is yes, but the bad news is He's none the performer. The sloth. <gasps> His powers include hanging from trees and moving very slowly. Actually, I believe he was quite lazy even before he was a superhero. You'd have to be pretty lethargic to get bitten by a radioactive sloth in the first place. <laughs> so we're hurtling towards imminent doom with our guidance systems jammed and the only help is a tree-dwelling slacker called Miguel. Correct. I need to get to the zero gravity timber! You got a plan? Yep, I'm gonna kiss my ass goodbye! You're in a room, and there's a gun on the table. The only other person in the room is an adversary. Only one of you can prevail. Do you pick up the gun? Is this a test from God? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course I pick up the gun. I mean, someone could get hurt. Is he hot? <laughs> you know, on nights out, I'm always the one in charge of the kitty. <laughs> Job done! <laughs> Whilst at work, you accidentally stumble upon a man secured to a chair. The man is in distress. Do you untie him? Hey, what kind of questions are these? Is the man in the chair hot? <laughs> <laughs>